the time that we have all really been waiting for that is round one of the MLS Cup. Yes, the wild card games were good. I mean, we saw seven goals in the first match and then penalty kicks for the other match. But here's the real start of the playoffs for me. And here's game one predictions. First up, we have Philadelphia Union versus New England Revs. They are at Subaru Park. The Union are unbeaten in the last seven home matches. Currently, they are one win, three draws, and a loss in their last five matches, where the New England Revs are two wins and three losses in their last five matches. They are coming off of a win against Philadelphia Union, but that was at home. Also, the Revs haven't won a match in their last seven away matches. So, with that being said, I know this is the playoffs, but... Again, it's hard to play at Subaru Park, and I have to say, the Philadelphia Union win this match 2-1 to one over the refs. So the other match that is there on Saturday, we have LAFC versus Vancouver Whitecaps. Currently, LAFC are two wins, a draw, and two losses in their last five matches, where Vancouver are one win and four draws in their last five matches, which they are currently on a five-match unbeaten streak. The last time that these two teams played, it did in a one-to-one draw, but that was in Vancouver. The last time that they played in L.A., Vancouver did upset them 3-2. to two. I don't think that it's going to happen this time. I think it's actually going to be the reverse way. I think the LAFC win this match 3-2 to two over Vancouver Whitecaps. Now, our first match on Sunday out of the three, we have Houston Dynamo versus Real Salt Lake. Currently, Houston Dynamo are three wins and two draws in their last five matches, where Real Salt Lake are three wins, a draw, and a loss in their last five matches. Houston are unbeaten in their last five matches, unbeaten in their last eight home matches, and the last two times that these two teams played, Houston has won that match. Now, we know that in the last time that these two teams played against each other in a tournament-style, knockout-style game, it got very chippy there in the U.S. Open Cup. Houston won that match 3-1 to one over Real Salt Lake. I don't think it's going to be a 3-1 to one victory, but I do think that Houston get the job done at home and win this match 2 to nothing over Real Salt Lake. So our second match there on Sunday, we have FC Cincinnati versus New York Red Bulls. I will say I was very surprised by the Red Bulls and how they played in that wild card match, scoring five goals. They looked amazing, but now they're playing against Cincinnati. It's going to be a different story. Currently, though, FC Cincinnati, three wins, a draw, and a loss in their last five matches, where New York Red Bull are four wins and a loss in their last five matches, currently on a four-match winning streak. Also, they are unbeaten in their last four road matches, but I think that that ends here. I think that with how good Cincinnati are this season, it's playoff time. They're at TQL Stadium, but I don't think that we're going to get anywhere near the goals that we saw in that wild card match. I think that this match ends in a one to nothing victory for FC Cincinnati. Now, for our last match there on Sunday, we have St. Louis City versus Sporting Kansas City. This is going to be a great matchup. I think that we have a rivalry starting here, and it's probably already been going on for a while now, but we've really started to see it. They have played each other three times, and they have not drawn any of them. Currently, St. Louis are two wins, a draw and two losses in their last five matches. Sporting Kansas City, four wins and a loss in their last five matches currently on a three-match winning streak. St. Louis, though, number one seed, but they haven't scored in their last two matches. Not a good thing in my eyes, but they're playing at home. The two times that they did play at home against Sporting this year, they scored four goals. And I think, I think they're going to do it again here, but it's going to be a little bit closer. I think that St. Louis City win this match 4-2 to two over Sporting Kansas City. Now, that leads us to our second match that we are going to do a watch-along for. And the first match of two on Monday, we have Orlando City versus Nashville SC. Currently, Orlando City are four wins and a draw in their last five matches, where Nashville SC are one win, two draws, two losses in their last five matches. As I, I just said, Orlando City 
haven't lost in their last five matches. They are currently on a five-match unbeaten streak, where Nashville are actually unbeaten in their last four road matches. I think this is going to be a close game throughout, but I think it's going to come down to the end, and I think there's going to be a sealment goal there at the end. And I think that Orlando City win this match 3-1 to one over Nashville. Now, for that last match on Monday, we have Seattle Sounders versus FC Dallas. Currently, Seattle are three wins and two draws in their last five matches, where FC Dallas are one win and four draws in their last five matches. Funny fact for this one, both teams haven't lost in nine matches. So they've either won or drawn in the last nine. And the last time that these two teams played, it was in Dallas, and it was a one-to-one draw. And before that, they were in Seattle, and it was a one-to-one draw. I don't see us seeing a lot of goals in this match. These two teams do not produce a lot of goals. Yes, FC Dallas did put on a great performance there on decision day, winning 4-1 to one over the Galaxy. But these two teams do not usually score a lot of goals. But I think that with them being at Lumen Field, I have to say Seattle win this match one to nothing over FC Dallas. Now, probably the game I'm most excited for, that is Columbus Crew versus Atlanta United. This is the last match of game ones in round one. And currently, Columbus are two wins and three draws in their last five matches, where Atlanta United are one win, three draws, and a loss in their last five matches. Columbus haven't lost in six matches. Atlanta United haven't kept a clean sheet in eight matches. I got a feeling we're going to see goals here. I really want Atlanta to win, but they're at lower.com field. Columbus has been the more consistent and stronger side than Atlanta. And I have to say that Columbus win this match 3-2 to two over Atlanta United. So that is it for the predictions. Please tell me down below what your thoughts are. Who do you think is going to win these first round matches? Yes, I did go with all of the home teams. I know that that's probably terrible, but and we, we will probably see an upset at home. But with the way that the home teams have played this year, I think that the home teams will all win these matches. But please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content, and we will see you on Sunday for the first live stream. We'll see you then.